Hi guys, welcome back to Quarantine Questions. Uh, this is uh, part two. I've got Dominico here with me. Um, so uh, Dominico, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Hello, hello, hello. So hey. my name is Dominico, as you say. Uh, I am a sound engineer tool manager, but I do also work as a production manager as well. So I yeah. do quite a lot of jobs as a production manager as well. I'm based in London. Uh, and that's it, mainly. I am 32 years old. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Not much. Um, uh, uh, what think... about where you started? Because obviously um, I'm not picking up a London accent there. Yeah, Do you want to yeah, just yeah. tell us about where you started, so, how you came to the yeah, UK yeah, and all yeah. that jazz? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Yeah. So I moved in UK uh, six years ago. And uh, yeah. I come from Italy, a small town um, that is uh, called Salerno. Uh, I was owner back at that time of a company, a sound like company, uh, for six years. Uh, I started to work in the business when I was 16, started to do like small gigs and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. So I bought this company, I had like a proper line of APA, um, it was exciting, digital desk, it was uh, the first time that I saw a digital desk was with my company, um, at that time it was LS9. Um, so, Still going strong, those yeah, desks. Yeah, yeah, indeed, indeed. So we had this LS9 and we had um, a Yamaha desk, an analog one, um, on the yeah. stage to do to do monitor. Uh, analog split, uh, a lot of lights, had like 25 movies, uh, truss, I had the truck, so I was driving the truck. That's the funny part. So I was driving the truck and we were doing the building and then we were doing yeah. the gig. So that's how I was at that time, all the things. Um, and after that, it was not enough money in the business back in Italy. So I said, you know what, I need to change something. Um, and I moved, I did the move a bit strange, but I went to work on a ship cruise for two years. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So I was a um, sound engineer on the theater on, uh, for MSC Cruise. Um, and I was uh, doing all the sound on the theater and doing all the production there. And, and I did yeah. that for two years. And funny things, in that time, I met a girl from London. Uh, sure. So I learned, I learned how to speak English because at that time my English was no good and all that kind of stuff. And I said, you know what, I'm going to try, I'm going to give it a go to, to London. Because um, yeah. I had one of my best friends, uh, David Lombardi, another sound engineer, that he was working over here doing like big artists. And I said, F I need to do that stuff. I want to do that stuff. I'm one of the big yeah. artists. Um, and I said, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, I started six years ago here from zero, from scratch again, because no one knew me and everyone yeah, said, yeah. who are you? I don't know you. Why I should call you to work? <laughs> so Why I give said, you yeah, some work? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. So um, I started work as, um, <laughs> as a crew <laughs> for different company. Uh, believe it or not, I've been pushing box when I started here again. Um, yeah. And that's it. I didn't do anything different. I just work in the business and pushing box, doing the small stuff with different bands as a backline because I work as a guitar backline sometimes. Um, yeah, that's how I get up. Um, I had two full time job during the six years. Uh, work with two different companies as a production manager. Uh, and yeah. two years ago, I went freelance, and uh, from that time to now, I do different kind of stuff from production manager, as I say, tour manager with bands. My last tour was with Billy Brock uh, as a tour manager at the Tech. Uh, yeah, that's that's mainly my 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 story. But yeah, yeah, man, it's a great story. Yeah, well, yeah. I've, uh, I've enjoyed uh, watching you progress because kind of when I first met you, your English was terrible. Oh yeah. No offense or no, anything, no, no, but uh, no, 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 I get it. <laughs> and I get now it. it's like leaps and bounds on from where we were. Oh, I don't know how was that four years ago? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I think it was four years ago. Yeah, yeah. four or five yeah. years ago, let's yeah. say. Anyway, but um, so yeah, congratulations so, oh, on uh, but, um, speaking two languages where I can uh, ba barely speak English. Uh, so, uh, um, so. Do you want to just describe a time when you almost missed the deadline and how did you catch up? Well, this is funny because I don't have got a, a proper episode, but uh, one of my first job as a crew guy, uh, so they sent me all the detail through a message on the phone. Yeah. And I was new in London. I didn't know a lot of stuff. I didn't know how to travel or move around. And... Um, they told me a time, but what happened? They the day of the, the day of the gig. They send another message. Say, oh look, the time is different. Yeah. So I went on side at six o'clock in the morning, but the gigs was yeah. over t uh, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. 
So in the morning. Yeah, but at that point it was not my mistake. I mean, I don't think so because they sent me a message late. That's the problem that happened always with the crew company and all this yeah, kind of yeah. stuff is always different. I, I now as I've been working as a production manager, I understand that sometimes we send them an email too late and say, Look, we need the crew later. And so yeah. I yeah. But that's that that's kind of it, yeah. No, that's fair, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to go into my uh, answers because I've did... obviously already answered them, but I'll go uh, into a little bit from yeah. your uh, mm. uh, perspective anyway. Yeah. Um, so for me, I guess um, I've had loads of sleepless nights. I don't really sleep very well anyway. Um, I like to uh, stay up and work. So I've spent nights uh, changing patch, uh, <laughs> changing patches, doing digital death show files. Um, yeah, doing a bit of PM work late at night after a full day doing a conference and stuff. I'm sure you're the same there. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, just because there's simply not enough hours in the day to do everything that we need to do. Yeah. And yeah. Um, like Connor and me were chatting about before. Yeah, yeah, I saw the um, video. I, I watched the video. Yeah, yesterday. yeah. Well, you've yeah. seen part one. There's, oh, it's going to be like right. four parts because okay. it's so long. Um, so one of the uh, questions we were talking about, about was basically saying every time we go to site, it's essentially like starting a new job, like new people, new gear, new client yeah. and stuff. And you kind of have to compartmentalize yourself into that mindset and then finish their job and then crack on with the next one. I mean, now I'm a bit higher up. I can kind of sit there on my laptop and crack on with stuff um, well, and then the, not get so far behind on deadlines. But yeah. Yeah. The funny, the funny thing is um, a lot of people that come to the show, especially for a concert, um, yeah. they don't understand what really happened before the doors open. So no. uh, this is a fun process, process because a lot of people think that it's easy. Like things yeah. that they, they can do something in what, like one hour or two hours. Yeah, yeah. If you need to do a big show, like, uh, like yeah, 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 it's 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 always a pain because it takes a long long time to do it. But yeah, hundred percent, mate, hundred percent. Should we move on to the next question? Yeah. Then? yeah. Um, describe a time in your life when you misunderstood a brief and what happened. Hmm. So, funny fact. Luckily, I was, uh, it never happened to me, but I, I did a mistake. So I communicated yeah. the wrong brief to someone as a project manager. Yeah. Um, and they was really, really bad. Um, you know what? The funny fact is when you work as a PM, a lot of people don't understand, but if you work for a company, especially as a full-timer, uh, you get a lot of job. It's not just that you, you look after one job. You look after more, more, more than one yeah, job. Multiple yeah, multiple jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, especially in the busy time, like September, October, November, the for, for our industry, is quite busy. Uh, I was so overwhelmed of job. Like, I was busy because I was looking after a few big clients. And <laughs> so what I have done, literally, I sent <laughs> the brief back of, the, of one job to the wrong job. Yeah. So what happened? All the people that were supposed to be on the other job were on the other job. Oh, mate. <laughs> oh, but all the good things was that the venue was not far away. So, oh, sweet. So yeah, yeah. To and actually, parts. what happened? Because the, I did the mistake because the events was on the same date. But one was sure. a small show, another one was a big show. So yeah. what I did, I just called the driver and said, look, you need to move on the other, it's the other venue. And I called all the crew and all the other people, the tech, and said, look, you need to yeah, move on yeah. the other one because it's a different venue. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's, yeah. Well, that's my mistake. I told everyone, I said, look, I'm human. I do mistake as well. 100%, yeah. Uh, Everyone's uh, human. But yeah, uh, yeah. And um, there is another one, actually. <laughs> it's funny because it was with a DJ. Yeah. And actually, I lost... <laughs> that gig for the stupid things that I did. So what happened? Um, they, I start to laugh because it's funny, but anyway, uh, the wife of this DJ, she was, yeah. uh, she was like a, like a manager, right? And she sent out this update, <laughs> the tech rider. Yeah. Literally, yeah. literally was not a rider. Well, I mean, it yeah, it was. me and Connor were talking about this yeah, in the last video. Yeah, it was, video. but it was all wrong. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do a new one. I did the new one probably like with the drawer, with the desk and everything. Yeah. Um, I sent them to them and they say, okay, that's fine. Okay, well, that's fine. You said that it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I sent my advance to a different festival. <laughs> yeah. 
we end up to go to the festival when the desk was wrong. <laughs> so, I mean, it was not a big problem. It's a DJ. You can still do your gig. It doesn't matter. It's, yeah. The only thing was that DJ was playing with uh, his laptop, so he was linking his laptop to his um, his desk and was all this bloody process. Uh, um, and at that point, um, they, they sent me an email and said, look, uh, we you had this problem, you did, you did a mistake. I say, I, well, I didn't <laughs> do a mistake because I said yeah. the, the tech writer and you said it was okay. Uh, but yeah, it's always, I mean... If, the thing is, it's not easy. People think that what we do is easy, right? But yeah. especially when you work with a band, with a DJ, and the management is not... I've got not enough knowledge to know what is happening. You get always, every time, a problem when you go on site because they think that they have advanced the right stuff or they think that you yeah, have yeah. advanced the right stuff. So I always suggest, uh, from that point, I always suggest to speak directly to your client. I mean, your client is the DJ, is yeah, the, the yeah. artist, the band that's playing on the, on the people that's playing on the band. Um, so, so yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good, it. man. Yeah. It's good. Should we move on? Um, yeah. Can you describe the most exciting audio project that you've completed or been a part of? Oh, wow. So, big gigs, fun gigs. Uh, Doesn't have to be the big gigs. No, 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 no. I have done um, a show. Well, actually, you... No, you were in love with me. We did a show in January in um, in London, uh, big show at Excel. Yeah, uh, and that was was a big, uh, quite a big show. A lot, uh, a lot hanging around on the. On yeah, the lo loads of things have flown and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think that you understand which one. I know, I know. Which one is. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was really, really interesting show actually. Um, I think that we had four hang on the front, two delay. Yeah, uh, yeah, a lot headset. I think like fourteen yeah. or fifteen headset. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. That's, that's loads of Dante, cool. wasn't yeah. it? Oh, a yeah. lot. All the Dante. Dante. Everything was Dante, wasn't it? And the funny fact was that everything was linked through the Dante uh, desk and going through the microphone and going also to the um, the, the split of video. So yeah. everything was on Dante. Yeah, but that was uh, Mark. My friend Mark was in charge of all yeah. this stuff. Our, I didn't, friend Mark, I didn't, our friend Mark. Yeah, our friend. <laughs> but I didn't. I didn't deal with all of that. So, but yeah. oh, mate. Yeah. Oh, I think there's a Dante question further down, so we'll come back to that a little bit. Um, what about how much studio stuff do you do? Should we have a little uh, discussion on yeah. uh, stage setups versus studio setups? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah whatever you want to do. Uh, so, DJ stuff. Uh, a lot of people think that it's easy. Yeah. And um, I want to say... I mean, you only press play, don't you? That's all you ever do. You press play, it, you find another track, press yeah, play. <laughs> it is easy, but it depends Jokes. from the setup of the DJ. Most of the time, you can find someone that is playing live. Yeah. So they don't have got just two CDJ. They have got like, I don't know, a keyboard attached to an Ableton and Ableton attached to another yeah. analog thing. So whatever it can be. So the setup is always funny. Um, I'm not a guy that can stay in the studio. So I literally, I, I know stuff if I need to do something in the studio because I've studied in the past like studio stuff and all that kind of things. Um, I mean, at the end, the process is always the same. The mixing process, if you're mixing a, a, um, an album or a song or whatever it is, the process is always, I mean, it's the same. Doesn't yeah. change much. Um, a lot of people they think there's a lot different, but it's not. It's the same. The instruments are the same, and the yeah, yeah. Is, cable legs yeah. are a bit different yeah, in the yeah, studio. Yeah, but, but that's it. So I am more like a stage man, like like to sit on stage and do like work proper on site um, rather than stay in the studio. But yeah. Should we move on to as a production manager? What would you say is your best skill? Wow. Yeah. So. Deep. My no no that's good. Um, I am uh, I'm really really patient, really patient. It's true you um, are. And um, if something happened, I'm always the guy that say, look, there's not a problem. It's not something that is not possible to fix. Tell me, let's talk, let's see what is happening, um, and we can fix. It's the same thing if the client come to me and say, look, we need another ten mic, and it's like an hour before that the show is starting. I said, look, I can try, I can do my yeah. best, 
I can say, oh, the mic will be here, but if you tell me 10 minutes before the show, um, and also I am good with people. Um, I mean, yeah. you know me, so you, yeah, I, I really like to understand if there is a problem. I always say when I'm on side with everyone, if you have a problem with me, you need to tell me. I need to know if there is a problem. Yeah. Um, because we work together and this is a job that you need to, you need to trust the people that you work. And mainly, and, and mainly it's more about teamwork. I do, I, I, I do a lot of job when I see a lot of people that uh, they just don't care about other tech. And, sure. uh, yeah. and I, get, I get really pissed off. Uh, because n that's not how our work work. Because yeah, yeah. the music industry, the, the, at the corporate events, or, or whatever it is about music, about events industry, it's all about the theme. Um, and that's how you make a difference. That's how you make a big show. That's how you make a shit show. Because if you don't <laughs> yeah. have got... Yeah, because that's true. If you don't have got the right crew to do the job, how you think that you can have a good show? Yeah. So, so, yeah, one of my first skills is be patient. And uh, I, I try to be always positive also if stuff doesn't go right. But, but yeah. That's yeah, I mean, be positive is like one of your main mantras, isn't yes. it? It's well, like I've you've got, got it tattooed got to tattoo, your wrist right yeah, there, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So you've got uh, be positive on one wrist, do more and, on your arm, and then what's the other one? Yeah, so I've got do more in here, and yep. I've got uh, life is one. On life is one, one, yeah. Yeah. That's it, and then be positive yeah. on the other wrist as well. Yes. I mean. Yeah. And I've got be brave on the back of here, but I don't know. Oh, and be brave, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. In places you can't quite read them on the back of your yeah. Ear. But it's good. It's, some, it's a reminder for myself. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah, it's all about the mindset, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, awesome. it's uh, big, big things. But yeah, that's cool, man. Um, do you want to describe a time when you were required to think on your feet and how did that go and stuff? Oh wow. Okay. So, <laughs> as an Italian, I come from something uh, that's totally different from the mindset of UK. Yeah. In here, I realized that. When I start, everything is planned before. So yeah. everything is planned in the warehouse. Everything is planned in the office before that you go inside. Uh, and Italy is not like that. People, I mean, big production maybe, but on the medium level, it's not like that. You go sure. inside and you fix a problem. Just make so, it up as you go along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, this, uh, this, this skill that I learned in all my years back in Italy uh, helped me a lot because I had a lot of problems, especially when, I don't know, I can say one of the two stupid things, but let's say that a cable doesn't work, right? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, I see a lot of people just literally go crazy, say, oh my God, the cable <laughs> is not what I need to do. But the problem is that a lot of people don't think, they just go panic. Yeah. Right? And my first thought every time is okay. Let's start from the from the beginning of yeah, the, the process. Yeah, the signal flow. So as the from the mic all the way through. Yeah. yeah. Before that, you change all the cable. Try another cable because maybe it's the speaker. If the speaker is not working, why you want to change the the cable if you need to change the speaker? So I don't yeah. ever got a proper episode. There is a lot of time that yeah. I go inside and people say, "Look, this is what's happening. What we need to do." I say, sure. Well, okay, and. You try to things and makes things work, but if you are organized, uh, as I am, <laughs> you can literally be prepared every time to fix the problem easy without problem. Yeah, man. I mean, that's one of the main things I learned um, when I went to uh, college in Coventry was about us going through the signal flow, just going from the mic to the XLR plugged into it to the stage box to the main multi, back to the desk, check the channels all correct, check the outputs whether it's going to a group or anything. And yeah. follow it through the desk, out the desk, back down the other end of the multi into the amps, and like but that's the basic, basic stuff as well. Yeah. Really easy to learn. Um, I've yeah. got a little blog post about that, but I'm probably going to change that to do a little video about that. Oh, well, okay, that's good. Well, I mean, may as well. Got all the time in the world at the moment. Yeah. Happy yeah. quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. Um, can you describe how you'd set up equipment at a concert? Uh, yeah. Anything you uh, do specific compared to other people? Well, I mean, I did a couple of videos on my YouTube channel about, I mean, I can talk to you about the desk if you want to see my side of a sound engineer. Yeah. That is, uh, yeah. So, well, I mean, I have got a pretty standard layout. Um, I use a lot this year. So what I do, I set up all my drop channel, bass, guitar. Yeah. Um, and I do my keyboard, my vocal, um, 
and I've got just two group. That's it. I'm so easy. Uh, one group is for the drum sure. without overhead, and another one is just for the vocal. That's yeah. it. Uh, bass, guitar, they are on a different channel, so I don't don't care. But they are all on DCA because I will have all my DCA on one channel, on one, one layer. Sorry, on yeah. one layer, so I can have everything under control. Yeah. Um, I've got my uh, two group, my effect, and that's it. The two main vocal, nice and easy, no problem. Yeah. yeah. I am I am pretty safe forward on this kind of stuff. Um, so that that's my basic set up yeah that I use, but yeah that's yeah. pretty that's pretty similar to me Standard. um i did the lv1 video that you probably saw on my uh, yeah, youtube yeah. um yeah. link below and um you've got an sq5 which again is a desk that we both use quite a lot so i guess yeah. yours is pretty much just uh set up you just need to plug power in and external lines into it and then you're ready to rock and roll because uh, yes, you've done all the got, patching yeah. and everything beforehand yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i've got my i've got Three different show files. Yeah. Um, it's all about how many people I've got in the band and which kind of music I'm doing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. And I've got also a show file when I do um, front of, um, sorry, monitor from front of house. Yeah, yeah. So I double double the channel so I can have different channels just from the, the monitor. But yeah. Yeah. Describe a time when you had to work with a difficult client and what did you learn? How did you deal with it kind of vibe? Oh, wow. <laughs> I could, I could, I think that I can write a book about that. <laughs> I'm sure uh, you can, yeah. Uh, so I do a lot, um, I do a lot of banking uh, company. I work with a lot of big banking company as a, yeah. as a corporate side. Um, and they are the difficult one because uh, they just want things done. Um, they just don't care about timing. They just don't care about a lot of stuff. Uh, but in the same time, if you do a good job, they say, oh, that's a good job. Thank you. And it's, everyone is happy. Um, so my, my approach is uh, quite, quite simple. I, I am always transparent. I don't like to don't say if something is wrong. I just say, look, this is happening, but don't worry. It's under control. It will be fixed. The client trusts me. The 95% of the time, because there is sometimes that they just don't trust me. But the five, the 95% of the time, I am almost right. So I say, look, everything is good, but we have got this small problem. We can fix it. Um, and I find out that if you tell them the truth and yeah. if something don't is wrong, hide it away. Yeah, it's it's ten times better than they discovered by themselves. And after you, they just say, what happened? Why you didn't tell me? Yeah, anything? yeah. Um, because that's the main problem will happen always with rehearsals time because you, maybe you are late to set up the screen or you're late to set up the mic and they say, oh, why is this is not ready? On the schedule was four o'clock, but it yeah. was 4.15 and nothing is ready. So, so yeah, just um, I learned to be easy. Uh, I track them as a client, but at the same time, I want to make sure that, that they can trust me. And um, in all of this year, I understand that Gain the trust from a client is trade them as a normal people, yeah. not like a client. Because if they think that you are afraid, you are done. They will always say, oh, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. Yeah, the other exactly. side, if you say, oh, let's like have friend relationship, you will, you will have a good relation with your client. And at the yeah. same time, you get more job and everyone will be happy. So, yeah. Wise words there. Really good. Um, what would you regard as the most challenging part of sound engineering, tour managing, production managing? Wow. Most challenging part? Uh, so I don't have got girlfriend. I don't have got son or daughter. So I've got no one, no one, no parents in London. So I live alone. So I don't want to say, oh, travel, stay away from the home. Is it? No. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I love what I do. Um, so much that um, I don't think that it is something that I miss because um, I am able to organize my life as I want, right? Yeah. Um, if I know that I'm going to be on tour for two months, I'm going to organize my life around the two months of tour. If I am two weeks off because I am on tour, I know how I organize my life. Um, and I learned that uh, that's the first skill that people need to have on this job. Yeah. Be organized. And be prepared. Um, so there is nothing that uh, I'm afraid or I don't like it. No, yeah. no. I, I mean, this is my, as I always say on all my video and with every one of the titles, uh, this is my life um, and I work around it. Yeah. Um, and um, 
it's not a job for me. I can literally take three months off and as, a, as we are doing now. <laughs> yeah, right? forced three months off. Yeah. Forced three months off without problem because I have my, my budget plane. I've got yeah. everything on the place. Um, so, so it's not, it's not, I see a lot of people say, oh, I am away from my wife. I'm away from my kids and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I understand that. Uh, and the same times when they say that, I say, look, you can change job without problem. It's yeah. all up to you, right? So uh, you can find the balance with your family, with your, your, your son, your daughter, because if you want, you can find time. I yeah. mean, I understand that there's people who say, oh, I'm going to be six months off, right? But you can have three months off home and see your kids every day. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, there is a, a lot of options that people can do it. But maybe sometimes they don't want to do it for different reason, or maybe because uh, I don't know, man. Sometimes I really don't. I mean, there's a lot of things that is difficult to understand. People, the mindset of of human is so difficult to understand that yeah. um, I can say I am perfect and they're wrong. Because <laughs> at that point, for them, I'm wrong yeah. and they're perfect. So everyone is different. From my side, I'm happy with the life that I have. Yeah. Um, I have someone in my life at the moment. But it's it's easy. It's something that uh, you can deal easy without problems. So so yeah, yeah, yeah. Great stuff, mate. Great stuff. Um, so bring it into like the favorites. So uh, what's your favorite sound desk? Favorite console? Wow, Alenit D Live. D Live. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a big Alenit fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great console, and then you obviously own the SQ5 already. I have. Yes. Um, because yes, yes, yes. uh. Uh, it was po probably about a year and a half ago, wasn't it, when you got the SQ5 now? Because it's just before... Yes, um, a year yeah, Just before South by Southwest, wasn't it? Uh, um, no, no, after South just by South. Al just after. So yeah. that was yeah. that was meant to be last week, I think. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, a, a, year, a year ago. Let's yeah, a year, a year ago. Um, so you know the limitations of the SQ5 versus the DLive. Um, yeah. Would you upgrade straight away to a DLive if you could right now, or would you stay with the SQ5? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, if I've got, I will. Have, I mean, if I have money, yeah, I will do the more without problem. Yeah, uh, the small, the one, uh, it's the one five, one five thousand. Oh my the God, S plus. I think, yeah, yeah. The S plus. Yeah, yeah, plus. Yeah, the small one. Um, yeah, tomorrow. Right? Tomorrow. It's an amazing desk. Um, the surface is just so easy to use. Yeah, and you can do everything without problem. Everything is under control, and the things that you can literally. Choose your layer without problem, man. It's it's an amazing yeah, it's desk, and the prey of the desk is is good, man. There's nothing to say. I mean, I love Digico, I love yeah. Yamaha, I, I, I mean SSL, but man, when you touch that desk and you understand how easy to use and yeah. the sound, yeah, it's super it's easy, to aren't say, they? But yeah, 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 easy one. Uh, favorite PA then, speakers wow. PA. Um, I am a big outline. Fan. Okay. Um. I know that he's an Italian PA, but I am a big outline fan. Um, I've been using the, for the last three, four, no, three years, a lot of DMB stuff for yeah. corporate. And he's okay. He's a good PA. Um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that for live is not good, but um, I just don't like. Is uh, you don't like DMB live? No, no yeah, no. It, on the medium side, is sure. uh, the ones without system like tech it. and stuff. I don't like it. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, I mean, you can. I, I've, I've, um, <laughs> I've been in a couple of show, right? Yeah. When the front of house guy, I know that it's good, right? Yeah. But the PA, I don't know if it was not tuned on the right way. I mean, I think that was tuned on the right way. I think it's. I don't know. It's just the PA. It's not like uh, when you have got proper K one or K two. Yeah. That when you push the master, man, you just. I say that you can feel the energy, the, the power, the electricity coming out from the speaker, yeah. like the hair that is moving. You can feel it. Um, and there is that kind of medium frequency that is, the, I don't know what it is, but it's the perfect spot. Literally, it's so difficult to have a problem with that PA. Uh, sure. when, when you use a DMB, um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I don't know. I just, I mean, it's... That's fun. It's, yeah, I mean, I've heard that opinion. literally the opposite way yeah. around where people are like, oh, I love yeah. DMB. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Throw it up yeah, and it yeah. sounds amazing. Yeah. Hate acoustics. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. just yeah. people's preference, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 But I, I would go with that just saying that if the system tech's not very good, the system's not very good, doesn't matter what the PA is, 100%. If the system tech's excellent, 
Like you're gonna have an amazing sounding rig. Doesn't matter what. And I can boxes. tell you. Yeah, no, 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 I can, I can tell you. I've been working as a PMN at the beginning of my back in Italy yeah. because I was tuning my PA by myself, uh, and I did uh, fifty meters uh, long, uh, and I think it was twenty five with uh, six RCF TT three three for side. <laughs> Literally was nothing. Yeah. I did that. I did, I did a, like a band plus a comedian and all that kind of stuff and without problem. But I mean, as I say, if you are good and you have got a good machine, yeah, you can do a good job. But if the machine is okay and you are okay, yeah, yeah. you don't get a good job. That's, that's the thing. I need to get more into system teching. I need to learn more. Um, Smart are actually doing some uh, free YouTube online tutorials at the moment. Don't know whether you've seen. Yeah, that. with J- with uh, with Jamie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done actually. I did my first training with Jamie back in Italy. Yeah, uh, was literally one of the first training that they were doing with Smart. And actually, I own one of the Smart sound card that don't a lot of people have uh, yeah. because David, my friend, my friend is uh, he's like a teacher for Smart. He does a lot of stuff for Smart as well. So, awesome. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Um, let's go best artist you work with. It doesn't have to be the most famous, but you can go most famous if you want. So best artist. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Uh, Billy Bragg. Billy Bragg. Yeah. Lo- amazing, amazing guy. Um, yeah. You were his human amazing... mic stand on one of the shows, weren't yeah, you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Um, he's an amazing person, man. Yeah. Uh, I've learned so much from him in one month as a human. Sure. I'm talking as a yeah. human, you know, like as a tech, because... Um, but yeah, he's an amazing person. I think that the, he he treat me as a, as his, his son, like a normal guy, uh, no as a as a tech, and uh, uh, and actually we have got good relation. I send him message every time, and yeah, man, it's uh, I have, it's it's one of the artists that I will keep in my heart for the rest of my amazing. life. Like one of the experience that I will never forget. So yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. That's what you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, work with him again soon then. Well, yeah, yeah. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never say never. Um, yeah, I said never. Worst experience or worst food on the road? Oh yeah, easy. The one that I say with the desk. We arrived on site. It was a festival in Portugal. Yeah. <laughs> I did the sound check, and for me the desk was okay, man, because that's what I brought on on on, on the tech rider. Um, <laughs> I, I am a DJ. Like I start this all of these as a DJ. Yeah, yeah. I play still music as a DJ, so I know all the desk and all the pioneer stuff. I know everything. Um, I, but that the, the desk was not able to do what he wants to do. It. Uh, I, w- I did the sound check and everything. I went back in the hotel, sleep. Two o'clock was, was two o'clock in the morning was set time. Um, <laughs> we went there. He looked at, that, at the desk and said, "Where's my desk? Oh, that's your desk. What? Oh, that's not my desk." I said, "No, no, that's your desk." No, well, look, that's the desk without USB port for my laptop. I said, oh, uh, that was, yeah, oh, that was that. Uh, and thanks that he had his, um, his, uh, his pen drive with him. So he was able to, to do his stuff without problem. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saved by a USB pen drive. It's a yeah. great, yeah. <laughs> great little story there. Yeah. <laughs> And then we touched a bit on Dante earlier, so I was going to kind of ask about um, digital versus uh, analog, like multis and protocols and stuff, Dante versus uh, Maddy and stuff. Um, what do you like about it? What don't you like? Um, so I am not a big Dante fan. Okay. Uh, who know, Yeah, who knows me know that I don't, I don't like. Um, it's a good system, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I just don't trust it a lot uh, with this digital thing. Prefer sometimes. Copper. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, maybe because I had bad experience uh, in the past. Sure. Uh, when doing a show, something failed and was done the problem. Um, I've done all the three training now, so maybe I know more about it. So yeah. I'm more comfortable, comfortable to use it. Uh, but yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's okay. It's easy. Make things easy because you can do a lot of stuff with just one cut five. Yeah. Uh, I've worked on an analog desk before uh, with, with enough compression and enough gate. 
But for what we do, it's easy to use a digital desk. Yeah. With the time that we live now, um, and all the travel that we need to do a gig that we have every night, I prefer to have uh, to have a digital desk ten times. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. 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 No outboard racks to carry around. I mean, you can leave it side of stage if you can't get it working and yeah. haven't got a multi core kind of vibe, and then you can run out with an iPad. All those little yeah. things on the smaller gigs just make it an absolute godsend. Yeah, I've yeah, seen you do yeah. many a YouTube or Instagram live where you've got the desk side of stage and you're running out into the crowd doing uh, everything yeah. on iPad. So, yeah, well, um, I mean, that's that's how it works most of the time. Yeah. A lot of people think that what we do is just like a big concert and that's it. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Most of the job that loads of little award shows and yeah, function yeah, bands yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's bread and butter that. Yeah, it is indeed. Yeah, yeah. good money as well. So yeah. yeah. What about your favorite mic for vocals? Well, I am pretty standard. Uh, SM58 or the Sennheiser, the E50. Oh, my God. 845. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. yeah, yeah cool. What yeah, about uh, kick yeah. drum? Hmm. D6. D6. Same as me, then. Uh, what about yeah. snare? Or are you a two mic kind of guy on the kick drum? Are you one mic? Uh, I, I've got a beta uh, 98 inside. 91. 91. Yeah, beta sorry. 91. Yeah. The D6. Yeah. That's actually On my preferred kick. combo as well. So, uh, and I, yeah. Smashing yes. it. Yeah. 91. Uh, I have, I tell you everything. I have, S, I love this 57 on the snare. Yeah. Because the standard sound or that, a beta. Oh, man. That sound. It's just, yeah. No, no, standard. Standard. No, no, standard, standard. Um, I use the beta under. Crazy, but I use the beta under. That's fine. Um, Tom, I use the Sennheiser one. I 604. I yeah. Yeah, if I don't have got the DPA, uh, 414 as a hoverhead. Yep. Bass. No, I just use a DI. Yeah, what DIs do uh, you use? Are you radial? Are you BSS? No, no, you... no, no, no. BSS, BSS, BSS for bass. Yeah, and then. And I use Clack Technique for all the stereo stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. for all the keys and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Very good. And then 58s for vocals. Yeah. I think. Uh, that's covered that question pretty nicely. Um, and but I, w- I want to try, sorry if I interrupt you, but I want to try also, I don't know if you tried the SCE electric mic. I haven't, but I've seen loads of people in America using them recently. And that's one of the things. So if anyone from SCE uh, electronic is watching, if you want to give us mic, then we want to test oh, that that'd out. Oh, that'd be amazing. Uh, I've got an X1 just, over here, actually, just in my oh, uh, little okay. vocal booth. Um, yeah. But I'm not using that today. I'm using a Sennheiser 835. Yeah, um, what about your favorite audio position to work in? Uh, front of house, monitors, system tech, RF tech, broadcast, patch? What's your favorite uh, of those? I think front of house. Front of house? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's more fun. Like the glory. Yeah. I mean, I, lo- I love to work as a monitor engineer as well. Yeah. Because you have got close contact with artists. Um, but front of house is fun, especially if you do festival stuff. Sure. It's, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Nice, man. Um, in ears or wedges or a mixture? Oh, in ears. In ears. In ears. Every day. All, all the way. Yeah, what in ears have you got in at the moment? Are they Shores? Um, I've got the Shure, yeah, yeah. yeah. The basic one. I don't remember. 215s. The e, yeah, 215s. Yeah, nice. single drivers. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Single drive. Um, I have um, uh, the one that you have, actually. Is the, so I've got the 215s, which you're wearing. I've got 425s, no, 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 which no. are the jewels. The... And then Cosmic Ears, which I'm yeah, wearing currently. Which yeah, are I've six drivers, I'm wearing yeah. the six P's. No, I've got the three driver. Oh, yeah, yeah the threes. Because I don't do I don't do a lot of stuff. I, I, I do a lot of mixing with Ineas, but sure. all the people that have got Ineas have got the cheap ones. Sure. So I don't need to buy it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean I got cosmics because all the bands are on cosmic ears and they're all on fours Makes or sense. sixes. So can't really have threes on the monitor engineer than yeah, yeah, have yeah. less than them. And what about your favorite tool in the Peli? That's my last question. Or favorite tool in your toolkit? Leatherman. Leatherman, yeah. Basic yeah, one, yeah. obvious one. Leatherman, Leatherman and Torch. Leatherman and a Torch, yeah. Torch, yeah. Any more specialised? Uh, oh, you know what? A crimper for a cut Yeah, fight, oh, know? yeah. I've got a nice one. Mine's like 30 quid. Um, I've got one of that. One. Uh, that is, and I've got these always with me. Uh, there is... Um, is... Uh, uh, 
four-way cup. Yeah, ride. yeah, the GS105. Yeah, yeah. with uh, my Stream Deck that literally is linked to my laptop now. Nice. But, yeah, that's, You're running that's Companion amazing. on your Stream Deck, aren't you now? Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, I'm thinking to do a video about that. Well, but... yeah, <laughs> that's another video that's uh, in the uh, making for me. Yeah. Well, you get the one with the with your desk actually, because I think that a lot of people would be interesting. Well, yeah, I've done a couple, and then I've just rebuilt my uh whack, my rack um to have my server, and my I think I sent you a photo about it anyway, and uh, okay. I'm going to get that out next week, um, and do a load of filming all in one day kind of vibe, and then cut it up and post it. That's the plan. Good, 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 good. So we've reached the end of the questions. So you've oh, smashed wow. them. Okay. So, uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Dom, for that. And uh, it's Always amazing. Um, hopefully, we're going to get you on the uh, site again. And uh, yeah. I'll probably come <laughs> and jump on your channel as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. until yeah. then, peace. I'll see you soon. See you, man. See you guys. Bye. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you could like and subscribe and leave us a comment, that'd be amazing. Um, otherwise, we'll see you again in another video. Cheers, guys.